Summer has finally arrived to Kansas City. The summer break had just started for the students at Kansas High School. The students were really looking forward to this summer break for weeks. But even though the staff had to stay behind at the school for just a more few days to finish some of the last things they had left behind, including the teacher Discord. Discord was a math teacher at the Cantrell High School. He was looking forward to his own summer break to relax and just enjoying it. But he knew that he had to stay behind for just a for a few days to complete some of the last things before his own holiday break. Well, on the last day before when his break was started, he ran into the, another teacher by the name Sweetheart. Sweetheart and Discord knew each other quite well. They start working at the high school at the same time. Sweetheart was working as the biology teacher at the high school. She and Discord was good friends. They usually talk a lot during their time at in the staff room. They were just talking about some of their common interests like music, TV shows, something like that. They were actually very good friends. Since they both started working at the school at the same time, even though that at the beginning, Sweetheart had a, bit, had a little bit hard time to get used to this high school. But since this court was the one that managed to help her come down and how to get used to it. And she, from that moment, she appreciated his help. So they started to hang out more often than that in the staff room or even conversation even after school was over. But now when the summer break was going on, this girl had no plans for the, this, uh, this particular summer break. So he asked Sweetheart if, he, if she had any plans for this weekend or this summer break. She explained that she's gone away from town for about a week or two because um, she's going to be with some friends who traveling a little bit around in the country. And she did ask the same thing for Discord. But he said that he had no particular plans in mind. They'll probably stay at home, watch some TV, maybe go bowling with some friends. But he wasn't sure yet. Sweetheart actually said that maybe that when she gets back, maybe they can spend some time just to hang out, to confess is it's normal. Discord said agree to that. So, but next day, Sweetheart actually went on for her two weeks trip with her some close friends. Meantime, Discord was staying behind in the Catlot City at home. Even though the first few days was just a rainy day, so he usually stayed in home door indoors by reading some books or watching some TV or something like that. But as the went as the wet days went on, a couple of weeks and almost a week later. He actually started missing Sweetheart since he felt some connection to her. They weren't the same age, she had some common interest. But it wasn't until, like until when he ran into Principal Celestia at the local market. They were just small talk when she asked him about him his time his um, interaction with Sweetheart. Sweetheart was actually something that even Celestia liked. She had a good time with her. They liked to spend a lot of time with her. Even at school, they were close friends. In fact, they went, they even went to the same high school when they were young. So, but when Celestia did ask Discord if there were anything between her, between him and Sweetheart. But Discord said no, you said you you're just colleagues, you know, friends. Maybe you have some common interests we talked about. But there was something about that when Celestia said, You know, Discord, I kind of see there are some attraction between you and her. Have you ever considered to ask her out, though, on a date? Uh, me? Ask her out? He laughed. No, I'm not her type of person person to be not being out on a date with. Are you sure about that? She Celestia smiled and said, You know, even I'm even though I know her for a long time, 
but she's a, a sweet person. I mean, think about this girl. If you have the opportunity to ask her out, I should suggest that you probably should do it. Well, that's perhaps I could do, but there is a slight problem. Oh, what is that? Well, she is not home for another week or so. Oh, that's right. She told me that she's gone away from her two weeks travel with her friends. So, but how about when she get back home, though? Mm, I will think about it. I'll do that. Fair enough. So, even after when Discord came home, he thought about that about what Celestia told him. What about ask out sweetheart on a date but he wasn't really sure if he even should do it but deep down in his heart in his heart he did like her more as a friend since they have been working since together for about at least a few years at this point and during for about the past two years he had feeling more more attracted to her he felt such joy when he spent time with her, we used to having since they talked about music or favorite shows or something like that. But he wasn't sure if he was even gonna do it at all. But as the week later went on, Sweetheart came back to Cantal City and Discord was probably happy to see her. So but during this he had a week on to think about what his that he wanted to talk to her or what he remembers what Celestia suggested to him to ask Sweetheart out. But he wasn't really sure yet if he would. But after having another week on to be thinking about, he decided why not to at least give it a try to see what she answers. So he texted Sweetheart and asked her if she was up for a meeting. Maybe have a, grab a lunch together at a local cafe nearby. She was actually up for it, and they met up at this small diner just in town. He was happy to see her, she was happy to see him. They was a small talk while they had the lunch together. He asked her what she had been up to on his travels, and if she had fun, or that she'd see something any particular special. She said that she did have a good time traveling with her friends, that she did see a lot of things that she liked to see, like some of the natural parks and some fun event, events, special events. Since she traveled through small towns and she spent some time there, but enjoying some local events like festivals or something like that. But then she did ask about, about Discord, what he had been up to for the past two weeks though since she was away. He said he didn't do much, just mostly be at home, watch some TV, read some books, and even went bowling with a couple of friends a couple of times. But he did miss her, since they had a lot of things in common. But then, he remembers what Celestia told him. But then, even though he was a little bit nervous how to react to even ask her, but he did. He said, sweetheart, you know, we have known each other for... A few years, right? Yeah. And I was curious. Have you ever thought about maybe, I don't know, find some, someone to be with? You know, maybe settle down one day or something? You know, I had been thinking about one day to find someone to be, in, to be with and potential settle, settling down with, but not at the moment though. Why do you ask? Oh, just curious, that's all. He tried to try to change topic, but then she said, "Are you trying to ask me out on Discord?" Um, I think I had said yes. She said with with a smile. Okay, you got me. That was only about a week ago when I ran into Principal Celestia. She suggested me ask you out but i wasn't sure if you wanted one much interest in that i mean we do have some common interest but i wasn't sure what to do it i would like to what you do discord wait are you serious mm -hmm. so they decided to go out on the movies the next day and they actually were so when discord showed up at her home to pick her up 
He was so nervous that he felt that his heart was beating faster and faster for every single second. But as he saw her by the door, he felt at least happier. They went to this movie theater and had a blast of time. Seeing this comedy movie and they just couldn't stop laughing. They even went there just having an amazing time. Watching some the movie and then afterwards they went to the small diner close by to have something to eat. They actually had a great time. Even Discord had to admit himself. He would have had this much fun if he had even had the had the courage to ask her out. But he did. And as they continued to go on their dates for a like couple of weeks, they realized that they really had deep feelings for each other. Even at the beginning, Sweetheart wasn't really expecting that or something. But after they had been out going on a date for about four weeks of been dating, she admitted to Discord that for about a year now, about a year, year or so, she had actually had been having some feelings towards Discord. But at the beginning, she first believed that this was just some interaction since they had a good time together at school, as they, based on their conversations they have, or their common interest. But it wasn't until after their second date, when she realized she really liked him more than more as a friend. So, she decided why not make it an official relationship with him. And he agreed. As the day continued to be dating, and soon the school was back to normal again, open for the fall, and the students came back to school. Even though when the students did notice that this course teachings were a bit different this time, he seems to be happier. So one of the students did ask him if their teacher was okay. He seems to be mostly a in other thoughts or something like that, he wasn't focused on his own teachings. He said that he was just uh, thinking about something and that he then went on keeping his teachings. But it didn't take long for the students to figure out or to find out that Discord and Sweetheart was actually dating. They were not surprised though because since they had some good con conversation, they were got this incredible chemistry between them. But they were just happy to see that Discord and Sweetheart have a good some good relationship. But as the time went on, Sweetheart started to be a little bit surprising or almost like quiet around Discord. And he was wondering if he had said something or done something to hurt her, but she said no. She was just Happening busy with the school studying and, and that she had to be grading some of the homework and something like that. And that is also true. Even this himself has been occupied a couple of times since with the homeworks or school projects they had been focused on. So that was something that he could accept it. But after about near Christmas time, he actually were curious that he wanted to ask if Sweetheart wanted to celebrate Christmas with him this, this year. Since she didn't have any other family members in town, so, and since he didn't have any other family either, so, but since they now have been dating for a couple of months, he decided to ask her though. So, during a, during lunch break at the school, when, when both were in the staff room, he just walked up to her and asked, since this summer, the winter holiday was just around the corner, within the next two weeks or so. So he won't ask her if she would like to maybe celebrate Christmas with him. She didn't hesitate to say yes, because she didn't have any other plans for this, this particular holiday. And he was thrilled. He was actually excited that they were going to celebrate this particular holiday together. When the winter holiday did arrive, both was excited, and they can even see how much the school was decorated for with the Christmas decorations, and how the town was going to be ready for this big holiday. They even spent some gifts to each other, and when this particular holiday did arrive, 
they were not more than excited. Because, as this god had decorated his own home, he had put a mistletoe just above the front door, and when she did arrive to his place, she didn't notice at first, and he said, Look up. And she did, and she brushed to see the mistletoe and smiled at him and gave him a kiss. During dinner, though, he'd asked her how she felt about their relationship so far. He was just a little bit curious to see how she was responded. But she admitted she actually had an amazing time. This was actually the very best time she had in a long time. Even before her relationship with Discord, she would have been feeling a little bit lonely. Despite having a lot of friends she did hang out with after work or she's on her travels. But there was the only one thing that she lacked of. A relationship with someone she liked the more than anything. But now she had the, that, the, that void, that hole filled with Discord's love. She felt complete. And they even spent the rest of the holiday together. And even when on New Year's Eve, Discord was actually invited to Sweetheart's home. And she had actually invited some other colleagues from work, like Principal Celestia, Vine's Principal Superluna, and other staff. And they actually had a good time. It all shared one at midnight and said, Happy New Year's, everyone! And then Celestia saw when Discord and Sweetheart gave each other a kiss right when they were toasted. Celestia and Luna saw that and smiled and said to each other, they are really a cute couple. I agreed, said Luna. But as they went on, though, time went on. After about nearly two years of being, da to being dating, Discord actually had thought about taking the next step. He had already bought a ring in secret, but he wanted to suppose, uh, propose to Celeste to Sweetheart by a surprise. So when he took her to the park where they had one of the picnics once, he did and proposed to her and she said yes immediately. She could have been happier and they decided to have a small wedding within the next couple of weeks. They decided to have it at the park. Celestia was asked to be Sweetheart's bridesmaid and even one of Discord's best friends like Cranky Doodle, another teacher from school, to be his best man. And he actually didn't mind that. And they even had asked some of the students, Santa Shimmer and her friends, if they wanted to perform at the wedding. And they accepted. And they even had an amazing time seeing how this was so happy with the sweetheart. It felt such happiness throughout the everyone. Even though they decided to have a, just a small wedding with some close friends. But it was still an amazing time. And even afterwards, Discord and Sweetheart went on their honeymoon. Which they went to a small the, a town over to have their, their honeymoon. They still had us a good time with watching the sunset from the hotel room. Or going out for romantic dinners. Just having a great amazing time. They were away for about a week. And after about a, a year, Discord and S Sweetheart was actually expecting a baby. But that, since Sweetheart told him that, and he was shocked. But, but after about nearly, about almost a month in the pregnancy, Sweetheart lost the baby. And she was devastated. She didn't go to work for weeks. She had mostly stayed, stayed at home. But Discord did stay at home a couple of times, a few times in a week, just to look after her. But he went to work as normal. But he did convince Sweetheart that even though he had lost a baby now, they were always they, they can, could always try again. Even though Sweetheart maybe didn't want to be trying. But after about a couple of months, Sweetheart and Discord find out they were expecting another baby this time. But even the 
Even the warm remembrance of their first baby that they lost months earlier, it was still in her mind, in her heart. She was worried if she would lose this baby as well. But this score was there to show her up, made her up to realize, even if she would lose the baby again, they would always try again and again. But this time, even though that she was so worried about her pregnancy that she would lose her baby, but as the weeks went on, the months went on, but there were no signs of any trouble with the baby. And nine months later, they had a baby girl. Both Discord and Sweetheart were so happy to having their own daughter in their arms again. In, the, in, the, in their arms. And a few years later, around three years later, they were expecting another baby, a boy. But they were not happier than after this. Not only having a daughter now, but having a son. Discord was really happy to have this, have his own family, and have this amazing wife ever. It happened when Discord was asked, how is, if he had never, he'd been happy to ask one of them, some of the colleagues, like, how would his life been if he had never been, went, been together with Sweetheart? He had only imagined that his life, he probably would still be single to this day, or maybe with some, someone else. Even when he did admit that he was happy that Sweetheart did ask him out all those years ago. Ever since then, he has having this, hasn't felt this happy ever since before then. But he was just happy to have found his true soulmate. And this is how Sweetheart and Discord from the true love are gonna family together. The end.